Alright guys, welcome back to Persona 5. Last time I met in Persona 5. Um, it was a social link part, I mean. But this time around though, Ryuji actually has a thing going on that we need to help him out with. Uh, remember that Yamuichi guy who was like a mini Kamoshida? Well, Ryuji finally figured out where to go with that. So now we can actually help him out with that. Um... Because you can't progress the social link until you do this, and this is, I think, like one of the few days you can do this. So make sure you do it quickly. Um, but basically, he's kind of having the same views as um, Kamoshida did, and. You know, fortunately, fortunately, un, or unfortunately, we're not really changing his heart this time around. We're just kind of wait. Are people getting their copies of Persona Five Royal early or something? Like, I'm hearing news that people are getting their get the Royal early. The hell! I better get mine early. I order. I'm waiting for this. I actually need to know if they're actually still doing. I wonder if GameStop is actually still doing delivery for the whole quarantine thing. I'll have to look into that. If they're not, they better give me a damn digital code for the time being. I really, because I really don't want to have to buy the game twice in order. Because I, I pre-ordered the physical copy, not knowing we'd be getting into a fucking quarantine by the time it came out. Okay. Like, I didn't know when I pre-ordered it. I just thought, hey. Just like, hey, it's coming out March 31st. I'll just pre-order it because why not? I hate my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, right. That explains a lot. Okay, so Ryuji actually has a really cool ability, but sucks at the same time. Known as Instant Kill, where... You can instantly kill a shadow if you ambush it. You have a chance of doing so. However, if that is to occur, guess what happens? You don't get experience, but you automatically do get a mask. Unless, you know, you already have that mask or you have too many personas in your inventory. And you can't switch out any of your personas for that persona. So, be very careful when you're, play when you're doing that. Especially when, um, I'm going to spoil this now. Later in the game, I'm going to be very high level, like too high level for the last of the palaces, meaning that every an enemy I ambush is going to be an instant kill, meaning I don't get experience out of it. Not that I need it, mind you, because you'll see how f high level I'll be by the by that point in the game. Trust me. Let's just say I did a certain trick to get myself to a pretty high level. Do you know the answer? Well done. Oh, man. That's, that sucks. <laughs> it's my ear sweat, and I don't like it. I hate it when my ear sweat. <laughs> This is the teacher always glaring at you. All you kids do is screw around. You screw around too much. Stop screwing around. Yep. Alright. Time for some after school. What am I doing today? No, don't go to don't go to on. Don't go to on. I will pay you not to go to on. 
Ah, you're going on. Yeah. I just want to go to the palace. <laughs> I want to go to the palace. We have plenty of time. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> For real? Uh. Oh, yeah, and throughout Aunt's Confidant, we'll be seeing this girl, who I forgot her name. I'm pretty sure it'll give us clarification in a few seconds. All right. Yeah, she's a total bitch. <laughs> I don't like her. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're not supposed to like her. She's basically the villain of Aunt's, um social link. Or Confidant, damn it! Uh, can we take account of how many times I say social links instead of confidants? Because I'm just going to do it every fucking time. Yes, we, we, we do hate you. Like, a lot. This is why... Why do you have a portrait? You don't deserve a portrait. Nobody likes you. Oh. My future self just needs to f slide her off... The, like, take the game screen and just slide her off the screen. <laughs> It had grace. It had style. It had grace. It was not a fucking disgrace. Wow. The fake crying is made out of fake crying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and this is actually where we learned about Anz's new ability, Sexy Talk, which basically, like... When you're doing shadow negotiations and you accidentally screw up, um, one of the phantom thieves can get in, can butt in for you to say, hey, he's <laughs> like, hey, change that mood and then fix it for you. Oh, no, actually, a chance to at force enemies to ask for less during negotiations. Huh. Okay. I thought, oh, then, okay, that's crocodile tears, but. Um, there is one for um, every Phantom Thief where they basically force the Shadow to have a 
change of mood, I guess. I wouldn't say change of heart, because that doesn't make sense. But you get what I mean. Ah, you're back. All right. Alright. Gain some knowledge. I was cursed with knowledge today. What am I, why am I checking it again? Yeah, you you don't get intelligence by doing it multiple times. You only get it by doing it once, but that'd be pretty funny if you did. Be an endless loop and oh my oh my god, that would break the game. You would have intelligence at max right there then but luckily they were smart enough to know that people would try that oh. I wonder if anyone I wonder if they, someone can reprogram the game and try that I mean I have seen some pretty interesting mods for Persona 5 I saw a mod where this guy recreated a wide he dorm from Persona 3 which is actually really cool um, replaced Joker's model with I guess. Um, I don't remember some of the other ones. I think there was a mod for Yu Narukami instead of Joker. Or just the investigation team instead of the Phantom Thieves. Um, I think there was one for the, for C's instead of the Phantom Thieves. Um, I believe I saw one where you could equip the final boss as a persona <laughs> like you can encounter the final boss as a shadow hello it is i akira amamiya actually i was looking through the um persona 5 wiki um, for boss strategies, and I decided to look at Joker's um, um, wiki and see like what the canon name is. Don't do that. <laughs> I looked through it and like, holy fucking shit! <laughs> Joker has at least twenty different names in that wiki alone, and I know it's the fan wiki, but Jesus Christ! And the stage play is host to like 17 of them. Okay. Like there's Akira, um, Karusu, Ren Amamiya, and then there's like 50 of the stage play ones. Let me see if I can... You know what? I'm going to search it up because it is, it is too good. I got to see if I can search it up. I got five minutes. Also, be careful when you're going to the Persona 5 wiki because... Um, it, uh, it has Persona 5... Royal spoilers. Let me see. Megami Tensei wiki fandom. Um, Let me see if I could find it. Hold a moment. I see. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're actually about to discover. Um, yeah, but, like, Jesus Christ. He has... So, when you look at the British wiki in the wiki fandom for Megami Tensei, he is also known as the Phantom, Joker, codename, inmate from Carolina and Justine, prisoner, leader, trickster, Akira Kurusu, frizzy hair, my little guinea pig, I, master, I will explain that. Another time. He who will save the souls of humanity. Ren Amamiya. Ren Ren. Senpai. But for the stage play. Christ. And I apologize if I butcher any of these names. Um, Mao Tamokawa. Hanato Ishida. Izumi Urata. I, again, sorry. I am not good at pronouncing names. Sumito Futami. Shosuke 
to suit I don't know. You get the idea. There's way too many freaking names. And they all are at different dates. So th uh, in terms of his actual name, he has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, mm. all right. 22, and 23. He has 23 different canon names. Christ! What the hell? Okay. Who did this? <laughs> Who? Oh my god. <laughs> I just imagine Joker's student ID now. It's just, oh my god. And let's not even count the amount of different names for all of the, um... For the uh, what you call it, players who play the freaking game and name their kid, name Joker something different, like Christ. Oh, I'm okay. So first up, before I go to the metaverse, I'm actually buying new equipment for um, Yusuke and changing everyone to the Gecko Can High uniform. Because guess what? Next part we're gonna be hearing, <laughs> or the next week. Um, we're going to be hearing nothing but mass destruction because um, that's what plays whenever you have this on. Oh, but first, I am actually changing Yusuke's equipment as well so he can have some advantages in battle because I will be using Yusuke a lot. I love Yusuke in this game in more ways than one. Shh. Oh yeah, giving him a crit rate plus would be a great idea. Are we actually going so yeah, we're actually going back to the hideout. And there we go. Infiltrate Palace. Uh, but actually, before we begin, we end the part though. We actually establish um, Yusuke's code name. Oh yeah, we haven't decided on the new recruit's code name yet. It has to be Kitsune. You know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. No. Say Da Vinci. No. Nope. Well, you've got that mask like On said. And there's that weird tail. All right. You're Aburage. No. Very well. What? You agreed to it? It's decided then. Aburage. Nuh uh. Not happening. <laughs> Literally anything else. Clown! <laughs> Didn't even see that. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. <laughs> the name's Fox. Fox McCloud. My father is dead. Well, in this case, it would be, my name is Fox. My mother is dead. Listen up. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that clown one. i never seen that before. Anyway, um, we're actually approaching the end of the part because, you know, I always end the part before going to the metaverse in the hub area. So the next time we meet in Persona 5, um, I believe we are going, we're actually going to pretty much finish up Madarame's palace. We're going to get to the treasure. I'm pretty sure it's going to take a few parts, though. So I'll see you guys next time for Persona 5 and take care.